In this tutorial, I will show you how to add dimensions to your project in AutoCAD. I will talk about putting the dimension at the right size. I will cover dimension style, and then I will show you how to create a new dimension style. And then I will wrap up the video by showing you how to import dimension styles into your project or your drawing. My name is Jay, and I'm the founder of JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials on YouTube, and I focus on AutoCAD for Mac. Let's get into it. The first thing I want to cover is the dimension commands. AutoCAD actually has multiple dimension commands, essentially commands that allow you to show dimensions on your drawing. I'm going to be focusing specifically in this video on the dimension linear command, which you can find if you look on the left side where it says dimension right here. I'll click here and then it's this one. It's the one that says dimension linear. Now, this is one place you can locate it. You can also use a shortcut to access it. Uh, it's not really a shortcut, but I'll show you if we type D-I-M-L-I-N, that will actually start the command. And the way it works, I'm going to start it by hitting return, is you click on the corner, and then you click on another corner, and then we slid on the outside, and we place it right there. Now, the thing is, there's a problem with the dimension by default. Dimensions in AutoCAD, they usually, by default, they have a very small size, so we need to modify the text size of the dimension. And to do that, we need to actually go to a window that's called Dimension Style. Dimension Style allows us to modify all the settings related to dimension. To access Dimension Styles, we can go basically to the format right here from the list, and then we're going to go down and click on Dimension Style. Okay. And by default, you should see standard. You might also see one called annotative, but we're not going to talk about that style. But essentially, the standard style is the one we have and controls the one we use. What we're going to do is we're going to go on the gear and then click on modify. And then from here, we have three or four settings we need to modify. The first one I would like us to fix is the text size. So we are going to go to the text tab. And then from here, where it says text height, we're going to switch that to four inches and then we're going to click OK and then we're going to close. So now the text, if you look at it, we can see it clearly. It's a good size relative to the floor plan size. Now, the next problem you're seeing probably is that this number doesn't really tell us what is the unit in use here. Now, I do my drawings in inches and feet. So ideally, I would like it to say um, how many feet and how many inches are for this wall length. So that's the next thing we're going to modify. We're going to go back to the dimension style, which we can also access by typing D-I-M-S-T-Y, and that will open the window. And then from here, we'll go to the gear. And the next thing we're going to modify is we go to primary unit. And then from here, we will switch the unit format to architectural. And now when I hit OK and close, now we can see the number. It says 24 feet, 7 inches. There are a couple more settings that I also would like to modify in the dimension style, and that is the leader or the arrow right here. Okay, so I do want to show it at the right size. Also, I want this to be away from the wall when I place it, so I don't want it to be exactly right here. As you can see, there's some spacing. I want the spacing to be offset more, so it clearly shows me this as a dimension, and I can distinguish it from other elements or lines in my drawing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Dimension Style. I'll show you a third place where you can access it. If you go on the left right here where it says Dimension, and from here we can access the Dimension Style window. We're going to click on that, and then we're going to click on the gear, Modify. And the first one we're going to do is switch the symbol in arrows, and then from here we will switch this to Architectural Pick. That's how I like to see the dimension, and this is kind of the standard uh, for drafting for dimension elements. And then we also need to change the size here where it says arrow size. So I'm going to place four inches. Okay. And now if you look right here on the preview in this small window, it shows us how the dimension is going to look like. The last thing I want to modify is like I said, I want to change the offset of the dimension. So from the lines, I will go here. And then where it says extend beyond dimension lines, I'm going to switch this to four. And I'm also going to switch offset from origin, and I will make it 4 inches as well. Okay, and then I'm going to click OK. I'm going to hit Close. And now you can see the dimension. It's easily distinguishable. We have the architectural tick right here, and we also have the offset. The next thing I want to cover is how to create a new dimension style. So we already have standard, but what if we want to place our dimension 
in a bigger size or smaller size. And we're focusing, for example, on just the bathroom and we want to highlight the elements. So we do want to use smaller dimensions because we're going to use a different drawing scale. So let's get into it. To do a new dimension style or to create one, we need to go to the dimension style window. And I'll access it from here again. And then here, I'm going to click on the plus sign and that will create a new style. Now, what's the beauty of AutoCAD is that we'll actually copy, it will start from the standard, the one we had, and it will copy almost all the settings that we've already set up uh, previously. So what we're going to do here is we're going to call this one small, for example, and we're going to click continue. And then from here, you will notice all the settings. It basically kind of imported them from the other uh, dimension style. So here, the only thing that needs to be changed is the text size. I will make this two inches. I want it half the size of the one we were using. I'll also switch the arrow size for the architectural text right here. And I will also switch this to be two inches and two inches. Now, I probably figured out at this point that if you match the the numbers or the values of these four settings, you're really going to have the proper dimension style every time. So you want to match the extend beyond dimension line, the offset from origin, the arrow size right here, and then the text size, and you're going to be good to go. And I'm going to click OK now. So we just created a new dimension style. Now we need to tell AutoCAD, we need to make sure that this new style that we chose is going to be the one that gets used when you're adding dimension. To do that, I will go again to the dimension style window. And then from here, you just want to right click on the style you want to use. And you just want to click on set current. That means whenever you add dimensions right now, it will be the one that is in use. So I'm going to close this window. And now when I add a dimension, I'm going to access the dimension command by using a shortcut. I actually customized it to the letter D only, so that way it's easier. I'll leave you a link on the top so you can actually learn how to customize shortcuts as well. Other than that, let's get into it. So we're going to hit return. I'm going to click from here to here. And here we go. This dimension is smaller. If you click return again on the keyboard, this will restart the command, the most recent command, and then I can place more dimensions essentially and clearly show how I did everything in this bathroom. Before we move to the last step, I would like to ask you if this video helped you so far, if you can click that like button and the subscribe so you can keep getting our content. And if no, if there was a problem, please ask me in the comments and I'll try my best to help you because I really would like to do valuable lessons and tutorials to help you all. The last thing I want to show you in this video is how to import dimension styles from other projects or between projects. The reason for that is you want to save time so you don't have to create all the styles you need every time you start working on a project. Now I'm going to go to an older project that I did before. It's this one right here. And then from here, the easiest way to really import dimensions is basically if you place one. So right here, I'm going to go to the dimension style. I'm going to see the ones I have. So I have this one, 48, JC48. So I'm going to place a dimension using it right here. Okay. And then I'll switch it. I can switch the dimension style like I said from here. I'm going to say I want this one current. And then I'll place another dimension here like this. Okay, and then I'll choose a third one just to make this easier. Now I can switch the dimension style from the right side on the properties. So from here, I'll switch, for example, to I'm going to choose the one that says JC96. I'll do dimensions like this. Okay, so now I have these three styles. So this one is called JC96. This dimension style is using 48. And then the last one is using 24. So the easiest way to put it inside my project or to import it is to actually select these elements or these objects or these dimensions essentially. And I'm going to do command C and then I will go back to my drawing. And then from here, I'm going to do command V. Okay. So now when you look at the dimension style, you will see that the ones that we are using, I guess this one came to as well. I didn't realize we're using it, but here we go. Now we have all these dimension styles imported. Now, before we wrap up, the last thing I want to show you is that I actually created all the relative dimension styles for you to use in your project. And I will give you the download link for free. So that helps you save time on your project. And the way this file looks like is this one. So from here, I noted for you 
what is the scale that is used for each dimension style. So essentially what you need to do is once you download this file, you just select everything and then you do command C and then you go back to your project and then you can place it somewhere empty here, for example, here. Okay, and now I will go back to the dimension style window and I will show you how all of these got already loaded. So like I said, this one, the easiest way to use it is just to reference what is the scale for each dimension style. That was everything regarding dimension styles. And if you want to learn about textiles, I'll also leave you a link on the top. Thank you for watching.